Okay, I got another one of the guitars set up today. Took a little time off work today. This is the, uh, I know it's a little dark out here on the, on the porch on the lake cabin, but uh, this is the uh, Curly Maple guitar. You can see, uh, let me see a little bit about it. Maybe I'll, I'll record something in, the, in daylight, full daylight, or maybe next week so you can see it. But I wanted, wanted you to hear what it sounds like. This one has a Sitka spruce top, ebony fingerboard, ebony bridge, maple neck, and as I already pointed out, curly maple back and sides. Sounds pretty good. Pretty good intonation on it. This one's been strung up for about <clears throat> about two hours, uh, just like I explained on the on the one for the guitar I made for Lonnie. Um, <clears throat> uh, it'll need to settle in. I didn't bring my tone right. Uh, the the thing that does the vibration, I didn't bring that with me. It's still back at the house in Montgomery. Uh, but I'll I'll put this one on that one when I get back. I still got a couple things left to do. Obviously, I'll have to tweak it after the tone right. Got to put the label in it. Got to put the pickup in it. And after that, it'll be ready to go. Um, I uh, did something a little different on this one and the other two guitars. I made the um, I made the fingerboard a little thicker. Um, I did that on the first couple guitars I built, uh, based on the uh, uh, the Campiano book, which is where I uh, learned to uh, build guitars, is following the Campiano and Nadelson book. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, he used uh, thicker fingerboards than we see on most modern guitars. And I had gone to the uh, to the to the thinner fingerboard, and uh, and I decided on these I would go back to the thick one. I think it gives it a better a better uh, uh, overall uh, sound, and um, and the uh, it has a little better reverb to it. It also uh, because the fingerboard's thicker, it, it makes the strings a little higher. So that means the bridge has to be thicker too to accommodate that. So a thicker bridge means a little bit more mass. And since I scalloped the braces in these guitars, uh, it, it has a has a very um, uh, what we call a movable top, and movable from vibration, obviously. And so it can it can actually uh, <coughs> excuse me it can actually uh, take a little thicker bridge 
uh, than than the, the modern guitars that you see. So anyway, I'll I'll update you guys later uh, after I tweak it uh, after it's settled in. Thank you.